Allah, the niyyah. You see why the niyyah is so important? Yeah, the niyyah sisters. Yallah, last hadith for Zuli and we move on. Ah, sorry, I saw Farina raising her hands. As long as he did not conclude. When you don't conclude, no problem. But once somebody concluded with you and said, I will pay you, khalas. Now, subhanallah. Uh, promise, it's a form of promise. You keep. I know. You say, okay, when do you pay me? Conclude. When do you pay me? Okay, I'm going home to get you the money. Or I pay you end of the month. Until the end of the month, if anybody comes and gives you 10 times the price, you cannot. Huh? Because you gave your word also. Ah, uh, that's the sin is on the seller, not on you. Not on you. The sin is on the seller. Let's say, I really didn't know. That he already sold to someone and he wants to make money up that between him and Allah. And no barakah, no for him, no barakah. Yes. Remember, sisters, word, word, your word of honor. One thing we, we need to uh, teach our children. When you give a word, my son, stick to it. Even if you lose. You, you rather lose money than you lose your reputation. It's very important. Very good. If you come to know, you should, uh, act. yes, if you come to know, you shouldn't help the seller. Say, brother, I heard now, after I offered you, that that's, that person offered you already something less than me. Uh, why did you change him after you gave your word? So, sorry, I walk away. For him or her. For him or her. Now he lose both of you. Yeah, good for him. Greedy. He should have said, sorry, you should have come early. I just concluded with someone. That's how, subhanAllah. Oh, we have lost this uh, ethic of your word, my, my word. I get khalas over my dead body. You know the story, this true story. Uh, uh, three boys brought a man to Sayyidina Umar. Radiallahu anhu. They said this man killed our father. And Fazlin and Shamin. I'm going to exile them to the farthest island near New Zealand. So that they do da'wah there. Takbir. Both of you understand English, so. Uh, it's not like Sheikh, I'm translating for her. This sister is from Bangladesh. <laughs> Takbir. He, uh, they brought this man who killed their father. Three youngsters brought this man. They said he killed our father, so we want hudud law. Umar al Khattab asked him, Did you kill their father? He said, Yes. How? He said, I throw stone on him. We got quarreled, but I didn't mean. I just want to let him go away from me, but the, the stone hit him and he died. He said, ah, sorry, you killed him. We have to execute you. He said, please, I have a sick wife and a son. I give you my word of honor. I will go say goodbye and tell, give them some amana that I have and I come back on the third day. Three days, give me. I live far. Umar ibn Khattab said, uh, what are you saying? He said, yes, I will give you my word of honor. 
He said, sorry, I cannot uh, guarantee you. I will not accept until somebody get it, gives you a guarantee. Be guarantor. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari said, I will. He looked at him. He said, oh, prince of believers, I trust this man. Let him go. He said, Abu Dhar, do you know what does it mean? It means if he doesn't come, we kill you. He said, yes, I know. He put his head, neck for this man. So he said, man, I give you my word. And you know, I put my neck for you. So please, careful. He left. Those three kids stayed in Medina for three days. Youngsters. Waiting, 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 waiting. Day one, he didn't come. Day two, didn't come. Three, didn't come. Maghrib. Maghrib. And Omar is looking at Abu Dhar. Maghrib. Sun setting, he came. He said, I give you my word. I said, what makes you take too long? He said, sorry, you know, desert. So Umar, radiallahu anhu, was shocked. Who was more shocked is the three youngsters because they didn't see Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, the Prophet taught these things to keep the word no matter what. But those youngsters didn't know and they were Bedouins. Uh, he said, so he asked them, at the end, they forgave. They said, okay, we forgive this man. I mean, we are so shocked at the ethics of all of you. Uh, Abu Bakr, uh, Umar, allowing this. The man put his neck, Abu Dhar, for them. This person came back, although he knows he's going to be killed. So the children said, we forgive. Uh, after all, alhamdulillah, they hug each other. Sorry, sorry for killing. He gave some ransom for the blood of their father. And then he asked, Omar said, why did you do that? To each one of them. The man said, I did that because to show you that the still in the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are those who still keep their words. I give you my word, I will not run away, even if I die. So Omar was so impressed. Abu Dhar, how about you? He said, so that people understand that we are here to guarantee someone, not just with money only, that Rasulullah Sallallahu taught us to guarantee someone who is in need, not just with money, with my life. But it could have cost you your life. He said, I know. Otherwise, they say the ethics have are no more existing in Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ummah. And then he told the three children, why did you do that? They said, so that forgiveness doesn't die in the Ummah of Rasulullah. Although he killed our father. Say, so look, each one of them spoke about value that you don't see today. Most people don't forgive. Most people don't guarantee you crazy. I guarantee you with my life. And the other one, he knows he's going to be executed. He still came back because he gave his word. So no lying. No lying. I made a mistake. I pay for it. Today, when you tell them, brother, sister, you made mistake, I have to do something for you. You say, why? You are not uh, mercy, uh, merciful. You made a mistake. You have to pay for it. You slandered someone. 80 lashes. Between you and Allah, if he wants to forgive you, but we have to do that. They say, why? You are too tough, you are too this. Zuli, continue. Very good. Let's say you are this type of uh, person. You know, some people, wherever they go, they'll be cheated. Sound familiar? Some of you like that? Wherever you go, cheated, cheated, cheated. So what to do when you enter the market said la khilaba, <coughs> no cheating. Don't cheat me, meaning I am very vulnerable. I already told you. So meaning if I found out that you cheated me, I already when I, salamu alaikum, no cheating. Do this, they think you're crazy. <laughs> salamu alaikum, enter a shop, say no cheating. Meaning I'm vulnerable, I can be cheated easily. Meaning I already told you, when I come back and say here is your product, I don't want it, give me back my money. Because I told you don't cheat me. I am already 
easy to be cheated or deceived. So a man came to Rasulullah and told him, Ya Rasulullah, I am always cheated. People keep cheating me. So he said, next time when you enter the market, say, La khilaba, deceiving, cheating is not allowed. Meaning if I return to you the product, I already warned you, right? That's a smart way of, uh, I think all ladies when they enter market, no cheating. Put a banner on your head, no cheating, no cheating. <laughs> yes, oh, I, uh, you know, I know sister. Yes. True, true, true. They do that almost everywhere, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this is why non-Muslims. Yeah, Akhi, here it is. This one is this price, this one is this price. No problem. Maybe I'd like to take this a lot. Maybe this is, let's say, 20 real. This is 50 real. Maybe I want to take 50 real. Maybe I want to take a lot from this. But no, you, you put 50 real on top. They do that even in Algeria, the idiots. Sometimes I, I, I get so mad at them. Mm. Because the good ones they put on top, because when you open, how you open from bottom, <laughs> you do like, oh, nice. But go see later on. Ah. Okay, now riba. Babu riba. The chapter on riba interest. May Allah save me and you from riba. Say amen. Okay, my sisters. Yalla, sister. Ashikin. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Huh? Curse the one who? First, the one who accepts it. Somebody he wants to charge you. Why did you accept? That is you and me when we go to the bank and, and accept to be charged. Right or wrong? Okay. A'udhu Billah. Number two. They are all the same. Sisters. The one who accepts usury. The one who charges usury, which is the bank in, in our time. The one who prepares it, the lawyer. Or now they have their own lawyers in the bank. The, the, the contract is already ready. So even a lawyer shouldn't prepare that type of uh, transaction. Let's say I'm a lawyer and people come to me. Uh, May bank wants to pay me so much money to draft for them. A, I shouldn't. I should not. I, say no, I should say no. I, uh, I work for, I don't know, any any. Any other contract, but not these. And the two witnesses who are supposed to witness. Because remember, in any loan, you, you need two witnesses. Here you cannot witness. Let's say I call you. I call two of you or four of you. I say, sisters, come. I'm going to give a loan to sister um, Julia. Come to witness, okay? Here, ta -ta 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 -ta, between Sheikh Zubair, he gives her a loan of 100,000 to be returned 100,010 at the end of the year. You should, you should say, Sheikh, no. Astaghfirullah. Uh, I, I will not. I walk away. Because it's not Qardul Hassan. So which, we, which trend, um, contract we should witness? Qardul Hassan, not Riba. Riba is what? When I charge you extra. Even a penny. Whether a million I'm charging you or one penny, it's same. It's principle. So please, he said they are all the same. Why? Here is an evidence from the Quran. Sisters, Sheikh, I just witnessed. I didn't borrow, I didn't, I just, uh, I just signed my name as witness. Wrong. Why? Remember uh, the she camel of Nabi Saleh, alayhi salam? How many people killed her? How many people went and killed the Shikama? Nine. They were nine. Allah says, وَكَانُوا تِسْعَةُ رَهْتٍ يُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا يُصْلِحُونَ They were nine members who were doing so much mischief on earth and not doing any 
good. But how many people out of the nine put the knife inside her? One. May Allah curse him. The worst amongst them. He got drunk. So nine, only one did that. But when Allah destroyed the people of uh, Saleh, he destroyed only the one who killed or only nine? The whole. Because sama sama, they, they were silent about what they did. They didn't even tell them, you stupid fools, you brought problem on us. We have nothing to do with you. They said nothing. Like many of us, we see something haram, we think, oh, it's okay. Okay. Two idiots, may Allah guide them, came and started kissing. And man, man, or woman, woman. And I'm sitting there. What should I do? Leave the place. If cannot, tell them anything. Leave the place. No, Sheikh, I just paid money. Paid or not paid, run. Otherwise, if there is adab, you go with them. Let's say you cannot say anything. And I don't know why you say nothing. They're free to do that, I'm free to scold them. No problem. You're free to do idiot things in front of me, I'm free to even kick you out. We need to learn how to stand for Allah, my sisters. And you know, if you stand for Allah, Allah will stand for you. He will be on your side. No one will scare you anymore. Everybody's scared of you because you always take Allah's side. So the quwa is with God and you are with him. You look like a lion. You lioness. Lion king. That shows. Let me stay here in hadith. Yalla, yalla. I was going to say something else. That shows Hollywood is bankrupt. Lion one, Lion King one, Lion King two. Nothing, halas, habis. Penguin, penguin one, penguin two, penguin three. Takbir. Yeah, Fast and Furious, this and that. Halas, no more. Uh, how many, this one, the guy who flies, Superman. How many you have heard? Halas, habis. No more, they cannot think. But Malaysians can. Drama, Chinta, Australia, Chinta, London, Chinta. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Now Turkey, they added Turkey. Ah, now Istanbul, at least Muslim Istanbul, okay. Okay, okay. Alhamdulillah, okay. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Next hadith. Yes, yes. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Na'udhu billah. 73 categories of riba. The least, the least, is like a man doing incest with his mother. That's the least. How ugly, sisters, that a man commits zina. How about if he commits zina with his mother? Na'udhu billah. That's the least. So what is more, ya Allah? What is top 73? Number 73. One, number one, the least, is like committing zina with the mother. And what is the worst, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, the worst thing is the violation of the honor of a Muslim. So why he mentioned violation of honor of a Muslim with riba? Because riba, that's exactly what it does. That's what it does, sisters. Sisters, you need to know one thing. Those days, when you cannot pay, what do they do? They, they're very good. So they violate now your honor. They take the wife, they take the daughters. You cannot pay, they come now take you. That's why there was slavery. So it's a form of enslaving people. You, and you can't say nothing. They tell the world he didn't pay. Ah, like now they come and just cancel your, and throw your family out to the street, and which is a violation. 
You have a wife, you cannot, uh, what, you keep uh, going to your brother's house, your sister, mother's house, you keep going, keep going, keep going? Ah, riba. You couldn't pay. So they come and they give you warning, warning, warning. Then they will close the house because you didn't pay. Because some of you sisters still, may Allah forgive you, say Amin. I am making dua for you in the 10th of, uh, 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. You should, you should be, ah. You cannot accept that I will rent. I cannot afford the house. Okay, let me rent. Rent for you, like, no. But sister, you, at least I rent, let's say I rent. Every month I pay, alhamdulillah. But I have a place. And whether I have a house or not, there is death or not. So I'm going to leave it, whether I own it or not. The, the mistake, capitalism again, what they injected in our brains when, when we were little children until we graduated from university, is that you cannot live without a house. Who told you that? I can, but I don't have to own it. I can rent it or lease it. If I can buy, alhamdulillah, cash, why not? Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, hit it. But they don't want you to do that because their interest in, in the loan, to give you the loan. Imagine everybody has cash by house. Banks will not work. That's the problem. So they always spend a lot of time, sisters, uh, feeding us with uh, this information that like you need, you need, you need. You don't need. And the best house you have, sisters, is when you finish paying. That is your house. And alhamdulillah, it is what's called now yours. Khalas. It's like having cash but on walls. And safe, actually, because the thief will not steal walls. Ah, my dear sisters, riba, riba, riba. Be careful of it. You have seen what uh, the least. Na'udhu billah, sisters, if a woman takes riba, do you know what does it mean? As if she's making zina with her father. That's what it means, because maybe because you are women, you cannot understand. The prophet was warning men, because men used to take riba. Women were not. Now even women are taking riba. So he's telling them, the opposite is true. Yes, I saw him, yes. Sorry? Yes, very good. Let's say some of you already ha are having this house or car, and Sheikh, I really want to make two. Alhamdulillah, I'm very proud of some of you. Already done. Done, finish, khalas. Because I kept hammering them. Alhamdulillah, by the, the will of Allah, Hidayah came and khalas. Ask them now. They are here with you. I no need to mention who they are. Unless they want to tell you their story. And they did it. They achieved Alhamdulillah, is just this. This is how you do. Let's say I, I already bought a house here, Valencia or gardens or uh, you, since most of you come from this area. Number one, okay, I, Sheikh, I, may Allah forgive me, I did that. Okay, what to do? Very good. Now I'm paying uh, riba. Every month I'm paying riba. See, you're paying riba, I'm paying rent. You're losing money, I'm losing money. You're spending money, I'm spending money, but I'm not sinning. You see where the difference is? I'm spending money, yes, every month. You're spending money too, but you're sinning. But Sheikh, it will become my house. Who said that you will, die, uh, you will not die before? Or your husband, or whoever is paying. Okay. This is what you do. Any cash you have savings, put it in the house. You should not have cash. When you have this, riba, house. So whatever savings you have, including some of the jewelry, go sell. Show Allah you are so sincere of your tawbah. Ya Rab, this is my tawbah. So I'm not saying get rid of the house, uh, uh, lose, lose the house, no. Whatever cash you have, let's say, let's say your house is one million, and so far you're paying half million, but you have 100,000 in the bank. Put it in the house. So it becomes 600. So you have only 400 to go. So you expedite quickly the payment. If you pay 1,500, let's say, or 2,000, pay 4,000. Less eating outside, less going here, there, and less. less. 
Your house, your car is 1,000 per month. Put 2,000. Quickly, get rid of the riba. But Sheikh, they will not accept. Tell them like this or I walk away. Then they will, uh, ooh. Have you seen, subhanAllah, when you go to fix the issue of money, they always tell you, but please, if you do this or that, or we will charge you fees, charge me fees. I want to get out. That's the price I pay. I was so bodo to have signed. And have you seen the real contract is in those lines where you cannot see? That's where the danger is. It's not in the... And you cannot, of course, read. You bring what a loop and read. So this is my advice to you. Or sisters, you take up your, your capital and walk away from that deal. Take only the capital. Whatever money you spent already, lose it and that's it. So you have two choices. I want to walk away from this. Where is my capital? I put 100,000, give me 100,000. But you're gonna lose all that, so it's okay. That's one thing. The other one is quite easy. The, the first one that I explained, which is I shouldn't have a penny with me while there is bank after me. I put there quickly. Ya Rab, that's my niya. At least if you die like this, Ya Rab, I tried. But you didn't even try. Sorry, sisters. And what, what a sweetness and what um, happiness and joy you will feel after you get rid of the... You feel so relieved. I cannot explain. It's spiritual. You have to go through it. Happiness that Alhamdulillah because some of you, sorry to tell you, you are living in a lie. The car is nice, the house is nice, but it's not yours. Exactly. I understand. That is less. That is less. That is less than because at least they are uh, going for education. But but it is sin. But it is less. Ah, very good. Wallahi, I know some of them didn't uh, finish because of riba, no baraka, and I know some still paying. You think that 2.5 percent is little? Whatever. Yes, you should try. Don't say, I cannot. May Allah bless you. Yes. Give them zakat, sisters. Your zakat. Some of them trying and very poor. Part of your zakat goes to the students. Mm. Mm. True, 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 true. Very good, very good. Don't think it's the only way. Think out of the box, sisters. Think out of the box. Uh, true story. This young man, his, his father ne never stopped uh, advising him. This is why you should never stop uh, advising your daughters and sons. Keep. L look, l listen to this story. Learn from it. Uh, my son, turn off the fence. When you are not sitting in this room, turn off the fence, turn off the light. <sighs> he thought his father is a nuisance, you know. He's, my son, why is the water shh, Sheikh Zubair? Sound Sheikh Zubair? That's Sheikh Zubair. My son, you should look after yourself. You should organize it. You see that plastic? Remove it. Don't wait for your sister or your mother to do that. He, uh, he cannot wait to run away from the house. He is waiting to go out of the house and live his life because he is sick and tired of this father who keeps saying, turn off the light. 
don't waste water, do this, clean after yourself. Plastic, do not underestimate, uh, remove it, put it in the trash. Adapt, sounds familiar, that is you and me, parents. If you don't do that, that's uh, something wrong with you. So he said, Alhamdulillah, jo uh, job offer. Interview, he said, I put my only nice shirt, poor family, tie I borrowed from a friend, and went to interview. I already found like 60 people, men, all good looking, handsome, wearing the best clothes. I said, definitely they will not take me. Already defeated. He said, but I keep trying, I keep trying. So he said, until they called my name. Everybody gone until I was the last. They call his name. So and so, come in. He said, when I entered, when I entered and said, uh, congratulations, you have been given the job. He said, are you kidding me? Oh, what are you, you didn't even ask me. They said, we watched you. Camera. On the way, all the candidates failed except him. On the way, they made actually what the company needs. The requirements, education, all of them have the same. But they want extracurriculum activity. They wanted to see. So this job was based not on only the education. Okay, the education, all of you have the same certificate. But they wanted to see. So what they did, they tested them on the way. They opened the tab. The tab was leaking. He was the only one who stopped it on the way. So now the teachings of the father are working because father trained him. When you see the tab, so he, while the camera is, no one of the, the previous uh, candidates did that. On his way, they put some trash. He removed it. And he turned off two bulbs, light. They were unnecessary, just he did. They said, this is the type of person we were looking for. So they gave him, huh? Values. They said, this is the type of worker we're looking for. They didn't even interview him. Then he cried. He said, I never liked my father like after that day. I realized how important my father. Some of you, your children will not understand who you are until you, Mati. Don't worry. But don't say, Sheikh, it's too late. <laughs> but at least your daughter said, no, may Allah forgive my mother. Now I know. Huh? Some know before, before. Before you die, mashallah, they come, hug you, and this, huh? That's why uh, I believe in time. I believe in time. The time is part of the healing. Remember this. Yes. Process, time process. Yalla, yalla. Last two hadiths. Tankmir.